Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Listen, <clears throat> and this video, if you like what's happening, if you like what's going on, as we said, please remember to contribute. Please remember your contribution, your love offering, because we can't do it without you. And it's so much to see, so many places to go. So please, your contribution is needed. Right? If you don't like the mission, if you don't like what's going on, still contribute something. But if you love the mission, and you love what's going on, you love this history, let it flow abundantly. Because we cannot do this by ourselves. So please, contribute. Yes, yeah, so Shalom again. So give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh and Yahweh only. So you see, they have the scroll trails, right? Because you have a lot of people say the Dead Sea Scroll, the Dead Sea Scroll. They, they, they don't name the Dead Sea Scroll, they name the scroll. The reason why you say Dead Sea is because the region of where they found it, right? Because there's nothing named Dead Sea. The word Dead Sea is not in the Bible, it's a salt sea. Right? So you can use the South Sea scroll. I just say the scroll. So they're showing you the trail where they find the scroll, right? So you can show them the, those monks, those caves. Because they scared the cliffs and stuff will come down. They tell her no dogs allowed. Wear walking shoes and hat. Carry water. Do not remain in the reserve after dark. Okay, all right. We don't have no water, but we have the Holy Spirit. All right. So let's go. Alright, so we say Shalom, Shalom. No, it's windy, but just bear with us. So where we at now, we're on the scroll trail, right? Meaning, um, yesterday was in Hebron in the mountains. And we show you caves. Can? Can. So today now, show them the Dead Sea. Zoom in on it. So where we at today, this is the lowest place on the planet Earth. Right? This is the lowest place on the planet Earth. So we give all praises and honor and glory to the Most High. Because as the scripture said, man goings of the Lord, how shall a man know his own way? So we're going to show you um, more information on it. But this is a scroll trail, meaning they find the Dead Sea Scroll in this mountain here. But it's the next side round there. So we're going to show you a cave in the lowest part on the planet Earth, in the entire Earth. Just like how we show your caves and the ice point in Israel. Can? Uh -huh. So show them the mountain for me, sir. And the people I'm commenting said the video man is exceptional. <laughs> the people I'm commenting said the video man is one of a class. Why we couldn't get that in Jericho, Tazawa? Why we couldn't get the exceptional <laughs> video man in Jericho? Somebody, a, a sister, texted me yesterday. Uh, and say I was scared. Oh. <laughs> I was going up in the mountain and I was scared. And they hear I said I'm not scared of nothing. <laughs> so I said, we, cautious. We, we couldn't get an exceptional video man for, for Jericho, for the wall of Jericho. So we're going to go and show you more information about the caves. That's why the most I make Esau find what he wants him to find. And at the same time, the Most High will make us find what we desire, what He desire us to find. 
Because the scripture said the hurt shall help the woman. Right? Minutes. Right? So let's move on. So yes. So we on the trail. Can? Can. So show them the trail road. And then zoom in on the caves up there. And come close and zoom in on this one please sir. But this is information here. Zoom in where they can see it. Because what happened? We will not leave no table and turn. So he said the twins cave and cave 11. So what Esau did, he come, he gave all the caves a number. So we here at cave number 11, we at Joseph, Joseph bar number 11, right? Okay, so we at cave number 11. So let me read the information. He said, the large cave with two openings across from you was dubbed the Twin Caves by the archaeologist Pash Bar Adan. It was there that he hoped to find one of the treasures of the temple mentioned in the Copper Scroll as having been buried so that show you they don't have no treasures at the temple they were here looking for them and they have all they have the dead sea scroll they have the copper scroll what scroll they don't have right and the way from jericho to shikshaka in the pillar cave of the two openings looking eastward is excavations and others fail to uncover the treasures the description of which seems to have been imaginary. To the right of the twin cave. So show them the right one. Zoom in on it. Right? It said, to the right of the twin caves, the opening of the cave 11 can be seen. This is one of three most important caves at Quam Run. Right? Along with cave 1 and cave 4, 25 scrolls were discovered in this cave. So zoom in on the right cave. So they said they find 25 scrolls, which should be what? 25 books. They found in that cave, right? Listen to this. Five of which were fairly well preserved. Among the scrolls discovered in this cave, Leviticus. Look at this. They said they find the scrolls of Leviticus in this right, right cave. Right? Let's move on. Written in Palo Hebrew. So look at this. If they said they see Leviticus written in Palo Hebrew, why they don't speak Palo Hebrew? That's the next topic for discussion. Can? Psalms scroll so they find the book of psalms psalms 150 they find all 150 chapter here right and the american translation of the book of job they find the book of job here which until this discovery here was known only from ancient rabbinic literature so they say until they find the book of job here it was just heard of right and the longest scroll discovered at Quam Run, the temple scroll, 8.3 meter long. So you see, I went to Jerusalem in the museum. And when I went to Jerusalem in the museum, I see the scroll there. And what the white man tell you, even for the scroll of Isaiah, he said find bits and pieces, right? So the more information is still here for us to find. So they find 25 books of the Bible, in this white cave right here. So you see where we at? Holy ground. This is history. When our people trying to fled from Masada coming down, they trying to head for Jordan to Jericho. That's why when we go to Masada, we tell you they were trapped there because they want to go to Jordan. So they even tell you they were heading over to Jordan. So they stuck and the scrolls, they hide it there. So what else is hidden in this mountain? Look at this mountain. That's why I stop now. Dress back. 
Look in these mountains. What else is hidden in these mountains? And they told you they find it in what language? Pelo Hebrew. So I remember I hear people say Pelo Hebrew is what? Abanics? It's not real Hebrew. How many people are here say that? The Pelo Hebrew is Abanics. It's not real Hebrew, but at the same time, they found it here. So let's move on. All right, so 12 minutes in our walk. Hmm. Yeah, we, 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 we never prepare because we have we have witnessed too, the brothers are here. We're just strolling, right? Uh -huh. And we just say, let us make this right turn. Uh -huh. So the question is, look at where we're at. We're in the middle of the desert now. And at this road, one time you can see that water used to rush down here. Huh? Uh -huh. Water used to flow through the mountains one time, come down here. And even here, to show you more caves in the mountain. If the exceptional cameraman can zoom in on them, is, is you all say that, you know? After this journey, we, we, we will evaluate the situation. Right? So you can see more caves is there. Some they go through, some they don't. So what we see, maybe you will see. Right? So let's see if we do the next 12 more minutes, see how far we reach. Can? Let's go. All right, so Shalom, um, again, so we're 10 minutes more in, so 10 and 12. So 23 minutes walking we do so far. So basically now we're in the middle of nowhere, surely. We're in the middle of somewhere, but we're just going further and further and further in the desert. So um, what we have here is, um, they said, Quamran, where the archaeologists archaeological scrolls and history meet so they find um letters here and some of the letters that they find here come closer they find um josephus um filler um i don't know if you ever read the book of filler i have that um they find they have josephus and um pliny the elder so they find some writings of what they do here in these mountains up here too and Josephus is the one I'm more farm, firmly with in terms of readings. And I read some of Philo too, so I have to go back and read, read it again. And Josephus tell you, man, it was city. People was hiding underground, man. You understand me? Josephus tell you, people, when the Romans trying to destroy this place, people was hiding underground. You understand me? So they find road things of all those elders in these caves here you see in front of us. If the exceptionally cameraman can zoom in on them. And then we continue. Alright, Shalom. So we continue with our walk. And we're 35 minutes in. Right? So what I want to show you here. Um, they have different replica coming up, like when Moses strike the so-called rock in um, in Jordan. The scroll trail. This trail honors the achievement of Professor Anan Hishel, right? For the work that he do. So you see, they put monument here for them. So even the work that we do, Ak, you understand me? As what Yahweh Shai said, don't be happy for what we do and what people see, but be happy because our name are written in the kingdom of the Most High. You understand me? So whatever achievement we do, as is, as we said, the Most High lead and we follow, man. That's right. You understand me? So let's come over here now and um, get a zoom in on this for me. Get it? Zoom in up there on this and the mountains. You see different caves. So
So um, let me read some of this now. Tell you what's going on here. So they said, the first discovery cave, this is number one. Remember we started at number 11? So now this is number one. And we apologize, but we will not show you everything that we see on this trip, as we keep saying in videos. Because some of the information, we're going to have to research before we can put it out. So we'll show what makes sense and what the most I give us utterance to do. Can? So see, it said in 1947, eight, eight cylinder drawers with clay lids were discovered in cave one, right? At your right. So I guess this is it. So they said they find eight cylinder in there, right? They contain seven parchment scrolls. The rule of community. So if you read the Dead Sea Scroll, you'll see they have the rules of community in there. So they said they find eight parchment paper with that scroll there. They said the war of the sons of light and the sons of darkness. They find that scroll in there. The Thanksgiving scroll, the great Isaiah scroll. So the books of Isaiah was found there. But when you go to the Dead Sea Scroll, the, um, the Israel Museum, they have the Isaiah scroll there because that's one of the main ones they go with because they have interpretation problem with the rest. Right? So the Isaiah scroll was fine here. The Quamaran scroll of Isaiah, the Genesis, the Apocrypha, right? And the commentary of Abacook. These scrolls were removed from the cave and some were purchased by Eleazar Sukunik. So you see that? So even the scroll of Abacook, Isaiah, the Apocrypha, they find all that scroll in this cave here. And they say some of these scrolls that they find, it was bid, it was auction, it was by, by a billionaire Jewish man, right? That live in England, right? He said these scrolls reflect the character of the achieved discovery at Quam Ran, which contains biblical section an apocryphal scroll, more than 70 fragments of additional scrolls were subsequently discovered in the cave. So you see, they said, <coughs> fragment. Fragment don't mean the same as they tell you they find eight parchment paper. So they find fragment of some scrolls. So what Esau did, like even in that so-called Dead Sea scroll, he thinking for the prophets. You understand me? Fragment is not everything. And they even tell her that when they found the book of Isaiah, they find fragment. They never find the whole thing. Right? <clears throat> so he said, more than 70 fragments additional scroll were subsequently discovered in the cave. And in cave 2, at left. So if you look over there, all the way over there, you can zoom in on it. Fragments of more than 36 scroll were founded following these discoveries some 250 caves were surveyed in these cliffs and in cave 3 among the other find the scroll inscribed of upper was discovered the copper scroll as it is known includes the description of the treasures buried in the area of the Jordan and the Dead Sea so Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. He said the area of Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. So if you look here, they have fragments. So they have the Palo Hebrew, they have the Yiddish Hebrew, but they find all these fragments in what? In Palo Hebrew. So we still continue on the trail. So if you can look, you see the sons of God here and the sons of the devil of the evil one down there. Zoom in on them. What they doing here? You see, just like the Mosai, all the sons of God present themselves before the Mosai, and Satan, Shatan, come also. You understand me? So it's always a battle between good and evil. As you said, they find a scroll there named The Children of Light Fighting Against the Children of Darkness. I haven't read that book yet. You understand me? They said they found a scroll here. The Children of Light is at the head. And the children of darkness is all the way down there. But I'm going to go closer and take a peek in. So we can pause and start back when I reach up there. 
we come closer to the cave where they said the letters of, of Isaiah that Isaiah was in the fourth century was fine right so you have the small one here where they said they find 25 you have the bigger ones up there can can but the beauty about it is as we're in the desert you can look because you see eyes don't lie we might not find water but water is here what is this Poop. this is goat feces this is what we call manure if you look at your foot you see all these goat feces so goats live up here in the mountains so back in jamaica as a child we plant ground we plant our vegetarian we used to get the goat feces to do it so wherever you see animals there's water okay brothers Come on. so we won't die of thirst today so this is where they say they find Isaiah's 25 book scrolls you understand me so just imagine what more up in these mountains right and we give the most high thanks man since we start the journey the sun cool on can <laughs> the sun cool on man we give the most high thanks for that one day one day we'll examine all this ourselves see what else the most i leave inside there for us that's right can can one day you can see the stone pack even these stones you can just it feels still cool it's in the sun and it's still cool so this must be a limestone you can hear the hollow you understand me? So if you break it, you might find water in it. Just like Moses strike the rock and water come out it, the limestone, some of them you strike, water will come out. So you can feel the hollowness of it. All right, let's travel more. So brothers and sisters, we come off Isa Trail. Stop, stop. We come off Isa Trail, can? So we're just roughing it out ourselves, and we see other caves up there. But one thing we can identify, right? Tazawar, stop. Cameraman, come forward. One thing we can identify, and zoom in on it for me. Look at that bunch of grass up on the top, how green it is. You see? You see it, Tazawar? You see how green that is? And see one more up there. So as dry as the place is, look at the dirt. Mm -hmm. From you see green grass, life is here, brothers. You understand me? You see how green it is up on the mountain there? Fine. The next visitation, we will go there. Can? Fine. So Shalom. So we are what? One minute from our? We are we are our in on our journey. And we're still in the middle of greatness. We're still in the middle of holiness. But one thing we have to keep in mind, the Mosai provide a tree, Yahweh provide a tree for his children to shelter. Um, you can show them on the hill there, the different side. So, um, so we are all away from our transportation and water. But we'll go as far as the Mosai gave us utterance to go. Can? Can. All right, let's move. Let us go in there. Different to the. All right, it don't matter. Let's get yeah. out of there. purpose of this we're just walking so I guess they play this game so they play hide and seek or whatever it is this is hollow huh okay yeah there's a whole under there this is not for us this is just Esau playing his games and his trick 
So let us go back on our trail. See the cave? The goat is up there. Curry and rice. And we are back at our starting point. Kalalaya. One thing, our people waiting. Our people waiting for Esau to find the news and come and tell them. But the Bible tells us the earth shall help us, right? So we in the time for the earth to give up the information what they have to the children of light. You understand me? Look at Esau all the way over there, man. Look at him. Zoom in on him all the way over there. They looking, they searching. Seven days a week. So they say. Because seven fours is 28, right? So I can say four weeks a month. So they here searching on a daily basis. You understand me? And all these caves they max out already. And they tell you what they found in them. And then they come and translate it and then they sell it to us. And then when they read the Bible, you see, don't abhor Edomite. All of a sudden, when they check the Hebrew language, it was the Edomite, it was Syria. It was Aram. Aram. <laughs> it was the Esau. And I see a lot of teachers today fell on that. We don't hate the white man, because the Bible said don't abhor the Edomite. But just look in the Hebrew tongues, because they said when they find these books, they always in Pelo Hebrew. So when you look in the Hebrew, you see Aram. Because the evil one, they found it, they translated. So they get the same problem. Just imagine what they did with John 3, 16. Huh? Mm. They translated, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for everybody who believed in him. And then after that, they enslave us. When God so loved the world and gave his life for us, but they enslave us. So we have to get the rest of information what's here. Because now we're in the time and the season when the Most High going to give to us everything and take away from them everything. And that's why Yahweh Shai said Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is the man that read it and understand it. Right? So for this journey, brothers, the Most High going to bless you continually, man. Can we deliver some stuff in this time? I know the audience would wish they could get everything, but it wasn't meant to be. One day. Right. I'm beat now. I'm beat. Yeah, so we are about to go in the museum of the Dead Sea scroll where they find it. So if you come close and zoom in on this, you can see. I said once there was life here. Most members of the Judean desert. So they still saying this is the Judean desert. But left to us, the wolf, you see Benjamin land, right? So they said once in the Judean desert, sect live in caves in the moral shops opposite Quamran. In these caves, clay vessel, right? So you see the clay vessels? And they said about 200 people live. And it was from 158 BC to 68 BC. So we know 68 BC when it was fully run by the Romans, right? And that what 28 years before Yahweh people took themselves away and they were living in the mountains where they hide the scrolls, etc. So this is some more stuff here. And these are the scrolls where they find the letter of Isaiah, Job, and all those people then. So you see Isa taking credit for it, but look who found them. See? 
see who finds the scrolls? What are you taking credit for? So see? The best is what they find them in. They don't want us to make noise here, so just zoom in on that. So they tell you when they found them, 1951, 1949, and all that. Right, so let's go in the museum and see what else is there. So I guess these are some of the vessels that they find the scrolls in. That's what they said. The vessel don't matter, it was the information that's in there anyway. So So these are some of the fragments that they said they found. So these are replica. So you can see, right? It's not everything on it. Some of the paperwork eat up. So they had, they have to add to some of them now. They start to think for the profits and they had to some of them. See? So shalom, shalom. So we're still on our journey, over two hours further, right, Khan? Khan. Yeah. Over two hours further. And we reach far, uh, but we show you cave one and 11, right? That's all we're showing you for today, right? So if you look on here, he said, only properly trained person using standard equipment may Rattle here, meaning they still have people um, searching. If you see, you see some people on top of the hills there. If you can zoom in, so people is still here searching for information. He will tell you, tie each rope to two separate clamps. So people still searching and people still looking. But everybody searching, everybody looking, get, except the children of light. So what we end up with, it's a second-hand story. Huh? All right. So come close, I'm going to look up on this.
So they, there's just a sign show you people coming, people sleeping, and they ask about people hiking. You understand me? So if you look, you see the rest of caves. People still here investigating. People still here searching. Goats still is on the mountain. Even sometime when we by the Dead Sea, we see people driving up there in the mountain, right? God. So it's a lot of activity still here going on. So it's about time that we be in the mix where we find our true history, we find our true scroll, and we interpret it ourselves and we break it break it down for ourselves. Because that's that's why we have problem with the book of Enoch. Because they find the scrolls of Enoch. When you go into the museum in Jerusalem, they tell you, we find fragment of the scroll of Enoch. So if you find fragment, so you have a whole book of Enoch. You understand me? Then when it reached the level when he said, he started to give you the measurements of the angel that have sex with, with the woman. The angel them is like two football feet long. Because that's what the white man put in there to throw us off. You understand me? So I read all book and I use what makes sense. And what don't make sense, we just throw it away. You understand me? So caves, fragment, investigation, still going strong. So uh, most I will, I should think, we end our journey here and this side and they have a museum inside where they have they show you things um, of what they found in there so the most I will the journey and the scroll trail ended here for now you understand me until we can reveal and um, have understanding and the rest of information and then we will show you again can all right. So with that brothers, well well done. We did proud. Show them all the way over there. All the way. Right? All the way. And they said it's over 32 caves they found here. And they tell it most of these information was from 68 BC. So after Yahushai died and the Romans take in road, that's when most of the scholars flee to this mountain and hide in caves. So they hide the scrolls and everything in these caves. You understand me? So, but the white man said, Rome is for Christianity. But there was no scrolls found in Rome. You have some found in Turkey of the New Testament, but not in Rome. And over there in Jordan, put it over there. Put it over there, over the seas. In Jordan, they call it Jordan, but we're really looking at the land of Gad now, as we speak. You understand me? They find a lot of scrolls over there too. In terms of, ah, he's pointing there. In terms of, our people did fled over there to Jordan too. A lot of scrolls find over there in Jordan too. The Mosai name and the Moabite rock was found in Jordan. Right? Do you understand that? So our history is in the East. So brothers, sisters, let's be great together. We're finding black history. With fact, because they sh the black history, what the white man showed you, is slavery. We were writing scrolls, making tablets way before slavery. That's right. You understand me? So, with that, we give the most high thanks for the knowledge and the wisdom that he gave to us. And we say, Kwame Shala. 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 Hallelujah. So, the other bastard then disappear. Con, they're going around so they can do the repelling.